Jeffrey looks down at his weak, frail body. My Ow. genetics are terrible. I could never get jacked. Genetics, Jeffrey? Look around you. Let's look at what you're eating. Let's look at how you train. Your skinny fats, not because of your genetics, but because of your actions. But it hurts you to admit this. You need to follow just five crucial steps to go from skinny to jacked. Just like Adonis. Adonis is the embodiment of physical perfection. His broad shoulders and defined muscles are the result of years of dedication to his fitness and health. But Adonis wasn't born like this. He didn't have the perfect genetics. There was a time when Adonis was skinny and weak just like Jeffrey, but he did not complain about this. He put in the hard work. Please believe me when I tell you this, that everything that I have achieved in my life, every good thing that has happened to me, whether it's the attraction from women or money or status or fame or any of like the positive things that I've had in the last few years has started because of my fitness journey. When I started to pack on more muscle, I disciplined myself to get into the gym and also whilst remaining lean at a low body fat percentage, you don't realize just how much your life gets better by building an aesthetic body. Now you've probably had the goal to build like a muscular, good looking TikTok boy, boy, aesthetic body before, and you may have struggled because you haven't followed some of these crucial steps that we're going to go over today. Number one, eat clean and eat a lot. In other words, clean bulking. When you search for fitness videos on YouTube, you can see who the sellouts are because they're going to try and sell you this clickbait idea, which doesn't even work, but it sounds really awesome. And it's called maintaining, gaintaining. This idea that you don't need to eat a lot. You don't need to bulk. You don't need to increase your body weight and you can just stay lean. The title that all these guys use for their videos that get so many views is how to build muscle and lose fat at the same time, which isn't an effective way of building your dream body. You have to bulk and then you have to cut after that. Bulking means you eat more food than how many calories you needed so that you're in a surplus and that surplus is used to build the muscle. This is common sense for guys who have been into bodybuilding. They understand that you need to bulk to gain muscle but a lot of guys don't believe this and they think that they can just stay lean and not eat any differently and they'll pack on good amount of muscle size which just simply isn't the case. So what you need to do is to start eating more but specifically to eat clean because there's an extreme version of this which is called dirty bulking where guys will eat pizza every day and milkshakes and you know they'll just say, oh, well, I need to get the calories. No, no, no. We don't want to do it like that. What we want to do is eat as clean as we can and also try to eat above our calorie maintenance. For you, that might be 2,700 calories a day, 3,000 calories a day. If you can hit that whilst eating clean food, I'm talking vegetables, meat, nuts, eggs, your physique is going to look very different compared to the version of you that dirty bulks and just has milkshakes and sugar and pizza every day. Number two and most interesting for young men, optimize your testosterone levels. The truth is that you've probably been walking around with testosterone levels that is maybe a third of what your great grandfather had. I'm going to say that again, bro. You probably have one third of the testosterone levels that your great grandfather did. The average man over a hundred years ago had a four digit testosterone level, 1000 nanograms per deciliter. The average range of today is 270 all the way up to around 700. If you have 270 nanograms per deciliter of testosterone, you are considered normal and healthy, which is a disgrace. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are you've already seen a bunch of the testosterone videos out there and it's kind of boring to hear the exact same video where the guy says, yeah, make sure you sleep and make sure you eat and make sure you don't overdrain. And you know when someone isn't educated on testosterone and they're just like literally just a parrot, when the first thing that they say when they're talking about testosterone is to lift heavy weight, when there's no research that actually shows lifting heavy weight increases your testosterone. It literally just doesn't. And all these bros online, it's the first and only thing they can say is lift heavy weight and make sure you sleep. And all of those things actually result in not even that high of a testosterone boost. I've looked at the research and there's a few practices that can double, triple or quadruple your testosterone. And I speak about them for free in a couple of the testosterone videos I've made over the last few months. Go and have a look at those. I guarantee that those are tactics that you've never even heard of before and they'll actually work and they're actually like so exciting because no one has ever said this to you before. You'll give it a try and you'll actually feel it work. Way more than, oh yeah, lifting heavy weight and oh, it's sleep eight hours. Like those things are nice, but those things can get you a 20% increase in your testosterone. I'm talking 400%. Click and watch that video right now. The third step to go from skinny to jack is to understand the concept of building an aesthetic body. This is a term, aesthetic body, that I think I have personally popularized because I made a video that's now got like 3 million views where I talk about exactly what an aesthetic body is. And finally, I give you a young man permission to go to the gym to specifically build a body that's attractive, that will get you more results in your dating life and more confidence when you look yourself before this video was made you can go have a look at it it's three million views before this video was made all these guys online were in this circle jerk to pretend like they didn't care you know like sigma male stuff like i don't care about girls i don't care about looking good like if you think about looking good then that's just shallow and i go to the gym just because i just want to feel the muscle and the iron and there's up. i came onto the scene with that video from like three years ago looked into the camera and said i want to get more girls this is how specifically going to the gym to build an aesthetic body is what changed it all for me i highly recommend you go and watch that video because i break it down in a very interesting video format it's almost like a powerpoint presentation i'm showing to you 
and it's helped a lot of guys start their journey. The fourth rule of going from skinny to jacked is to do the right kind of training. Now, in the previous step, I just told you, you know, to build an aesthetic body and I linked you to that video. The reason why is because most guys who actually want to look good, who want to build like, you know, visible packed on muscle so that they look muscular. Most guys are actually doing the wrong kind of workouts for that goal. You see online, there's this narrative that you shouldn't be pursuing bodybuilding and instead you should pursue powerlifting. This is why every young man who wants to look good goes online to try and find some advice and he's told the exact same things that he should get onto a strength training program and he should lift heavy compound lifts. No, no, no. You want to look hot. Like you want to look sexy. You want to look like the kind of guy that girls are screenshotting and you know, like on TikTok, there's all those boys who like look really nice. On Instagram, there's those Chad looking guys. If you want to look like one of them, you need to train in a different way than what you're seeing. All these like fat Redditors and YouTubers telling you for strong lifts, five times five, heavy compound lifts. You don't need to do that. If anything, actually going onto a strength training program will reduce your hypertrophic gains. It will reduce your gains because strength and muscle are two different things. Even though they are quite heavily correlated because of progressive overload, they are not the same. Training for strength with some heavy compound lifts, three reps of bench press, five reps of bench press will not make you anywhere near the same amount of muscle as if you did 15 rep incline dumbbell bench press. So this is exactly what you need to do. You need to get onto a workout routine that will actually build the aesthetic, attractive kind of muscle that will make you look jacked. And it is not those strength training programs. I made my own routines for myself and I followed them and I saw pretty good results. And I've linked those workout routines for free in the description of this video. Finally, there is one last rule that you need to follow to go from skinny to jacked. And that is to trust the process and to be patient. You must understand that if you've watched any of those body transformation videos that you've seen online, if you've seen any like progress pictures, usually the guys are lying. Honestly, usually all the YouTubers that you can go and like, you know, if you go literally go onto YouTube and search body transformation and just have a look at the thumbnail, most of those guys are actually lying to you. They're literally messing up your mental health because they want to just perceive themselves to be better people. Trust me when I say that that three year body transformation video that you saw on YouTube took the guy more like five years and he specifically took a bad picture to begin with. He had like chocolate milk or something before and so he looked worse. Took it with like really bad lighting then afterwards took like the best picture, photoshopped it a little bit and then presented it to you so that hopefully you'll click on it and you'll like him more. The truth is that as a natural, a guy who's not taking steroids, your progress month to month, year to year, it's not going to be like any of these guys you see online. You can look through my own progress pictures, which have not been altered or photoshopped or anything like that, which has been totally natural. And you can see that I made quite a lot of gains in my first like one to two to three years of training. And since then, it's like, yeah, I look a lot better and I've gained a good amount of muscle. But you've got to think I've been on this journey for around eight to nine years from age 17 to 25. I've been on this journey and there's guys who are saying that they've built a bigger physique than me in like six months when you see these guys like progress pictures online and they'll say, oh yeah, it's natural by the way and go buy my program. Huh? Probably not. There was one mindset, one thought that I kept in mind through my early days of going to the gym that helped me. And it's probably the most valuable part of this video. And that was the mindset to understand that time was going to pass anyway. The month, the year was going to pass anyway. And even though this is such a slow goal to make progress towards, you know, to build that like jacked physique, the time was going to pass by anyway. And so all you were going to be left with was whether or not you put in the work to build that physique. I specifically remember a few of my old friends, like I would speak to them about this journey I was going on and I really wanted them to start going to the gym with me. I literally remember one friend who, said, who looked me in the eyes and said, wait, this is going to take too long to see results. And it, that baffled me because I literally, you know, tried to explain to it, but like the month is going to pass by anyway. And so, yeah, it's going to take some time, but the month is going to pass by. So all you're left with is the gains if you've made them or not. And guess what happened? The time did pass by. I went from looking like a little skinny, fat, 17 year old brown kid to the physique of a Chad, if you want to call it that. And my friend has the physique of a Jeffrey, skinny, fat, drinks beer. We're not even friends. The time is going to pass by anyway. The months, the years are going to pass. All that's going to be left is whether or not you built this jacked physique, this aesthetic physique for your future self. Go get those free workout routines linked in the description. Click and watch this video right now. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.